Hi guys, so today on Art Chats, we are talking about formal art education versus being self-taught. And before we get into my thoughts on the those options, I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how I started out. So my mother was an artist as well. She was self-taught and she grew up um, really just getting into it for fun. She She was quite naturally good at it and she was known as a class artist and when she left high school she got married and started her family quite early and when she had us I guess one of the things that we really got to do with her when we spent time with her was um, arts and crafts and she wasn't doing too much personal art early on um, at least that I know of Uh, I have a lot of her older drawings and and it's there seems like there were large gaps where she wasn't drawing too much for herself so growing up though um she was real supportive of it um even when I was little she would incorporate it into our education my mom was um very special in that she she helped teach us a lot too before we even got to school um I entered school already uh ahead of the curve knowing how to to read and whatnot because she she really helped with that she would make um worksheets with exercises from math to spelling to um drawing she would have little rudiment rudimentary drawings and um the task would be for us to finish them however we wanted so she was always very supportive creatively never failed it uh continued to grow and my interests um were comic books pretty early on i remember being in elementary school and being really into like archie comic digests and um of course animated movies cuz i mean what kid isn't into those um but i i really loved to draw a That was always my favorite activity that I I can remember. Um, We'd go shopping and instead of always getting a toy, I would be more than content with just getting a little pen set or some paper um, that I could use in transit or once we got home. So um, that's always been a huge part of my life. And I took a couple of art electives in middle school, but it was real basic. Um, And when I got to high school, I did one year in the art class as an elective but I didn't really like the class too much I liked the idea but I found some of the people who took the class to not care about art so much and I don't know I just wasn't really into the class so much when I got to high school Um, I think at the time I wasn't too into the exercises or some of the mediums that we were doing Um, but I still always drew and by this time I was really into uh, manga and comic books. I had aspirations of being a comic book illustrator um, but my backup was more business classes so during high school I took business classes instead and I just stayed in the art club and then once I left high school I didn't think I was good enough to continue in the art field and make it which is stupid because I think no one really is and I should have continued my education then but I had no confidence so I kind of put art aside for a long time um I think it was about almost two years that I didn't even really draw um I went to college actually as an English major and while I was there I knew a lot of people who were doing music like um my husband who was then my boyfriend um he was in the music program at our our university and um just by checking out the events that were going on i happened to check out the art community some art shows and from there i realized art is where i should have been all along i switched my major and started studying art and i did uh quite a bit of coursework in art i had already at this point had all my basics done and some english classes that weren't really going to transfer over to an art degree but i did it anyways and as it turned out um i loved it i got to try several different mediums but that's where i really got into painting when i was in high school and before i didn't really do any painting most of my work was black and white graphite and ink 
Um, so when I got to college, I tried acrylic and oil for the first time and started dabbling in watercolor as well. <clears throat> I also did a few other classes, um, such as metal smithing, doing small jewelry work in silver and gold. And that was a lot of fun too, but I didn't feel like that was really the thing for me, even though one of my teachers tried to convince me to make my concentration be in metal smithing. Um, I don't think it's because I was good. I think she just saw potential to, to get good. It wasn't very good at the time. Um, so uh, college, I did that for a while. I think I was in the art program maybe two years. And I actually stopped short of finishing my degree. I, I think I needed about a year or year and a half more of classes to finish an art degree. But I left because the overwhelming debt, I was having to take out loans for um, continuing my education. And I just didn't want to do it anymore. The thought of so much debt for me or my family kind of freaked me out. And I left school at that time. Um... I started working and I did a lot of unrelated to art jobs after college, um, including instrument repair, which was neat. And being the crafty person that I am, I enjoyed getting to work with my hands, um, but it really wasn't artistically fulfilling. I did that for several years at two different stores. One, I, I did a lot more than just um, instrument repair. I did some management and uh, lesson scheduling for the music studios that we had there. I did a lot of different things at that one. Um, when I left there though and I came back to El Paso several years later, I, I started doing the sip and paint classes. Oh, and I guess I should mention like all this time that I was doing all these different jobs and this is over many years, um, I never stopped doing art. It wasn't a full-time job for me, but I always did it. I kept practicing. I would learn anywhere from books to videos to um, just elbow grease, working it out myself and selling work here and there. I participated in art shows locally. I sold online. Um, I still do all these things now. But now I am fortunate enough to um, do solely art. I do those things, um, selling art online and, and locally in art shows when I participate in those. But I also have a part-time job doing those sip and paint classes. And so that's my history with art. Um, so to more directly talk about, do you need to go to art school? I think absolutely not. I think it's really up to you and your situation. I think it can be beneficial in a lot of ways, but if you are highly motivated, you can learn from any anything. You can learn from a regimented course that you can do either online or at a school. Um, the thing is though, if you don't go, if you decide not to go to a art school, you have to be more motivated on your own which at the time I wasn't really so going to art school even if only for a short period was really nice for me it exposed me to a lot that I wouldn't have otherwise been exposed to um, especially different types of art and materials because when you're in school you know, of course you have to pay extraordinary fees for tuition and supplies, but there's also a lot that you have access to that you probably wouldn't have access to otherwise. So if you're not sure like exactly what kind of art you want to do and you just feel pulled to the creative fields, you you might want to actually go to school where you can test things out as such. Um, but if you know you want to do illustration or what have you, you don't necessarily need to go to school. You can really up your skills on your own or do smaller um, courses anywhere to up your skills and it shouldn't hold you back whether or not you go to school is going to be up to you and your financial um, situation your personal motivation and how you deal with things like maybe you're just not a person who does well in classrooms and are more of an introvert but there's value to both and I think if you choose the route to do um, self-taught. I'd 
I feel like that's a funny term anyways, because I don't think that you can ever be truly self-taught 100%, especially if you're not squirreled away in a cabin out in the middle of nowhere, because we don't live in a vacuum. There are a million places to learn from other people, the videos that you find on YouTube. I mean, you're learning from other people's experience too. You pick up a book and you're learning from someone else's um, experience. So I feel like that self-taught is kind of a funny way to put it, but hopefully you get what I mean. And I think whatever route you choose, you can find success. There's a lot of artists on YouTube who are quite young and are self-taught in the sense that they didn't go to a formal art school. And they are amazing. They are better than I ever was at their age and even now. So I just want it to put it out there that it doesn't matter what route you choose. There are different things for different people that would work better for each individual. So, I mean, it's a, ultimately a choice that you're going to have to make on your own. I had a great time the short period that I was taking art courses, it helped me grow a lot personally as an artist. Um, but I did feel like after a while I plateaued and then later in my personal life, as I went back to it and pushed myself, I felt another growth spurt way after a attending college. So lots of ways to go about it. I don't think one has more value over the other. It's just what works for you really and how much work you're going to personally put into it because really d either route you're going to get what you put in and no one can determine that but you. You can go to an art school and not have the best teachers and still come out way ahead of where you were beforehand or vice versa. It's 100% the work that you put into it. So try both if you're not sure. See how far you can get in either route and if it doesn't work for you, try the other route. Um, but again, it's really up to you. So I hope this was of some value to someone out there who is considering which way they want to go. And um, I would love to open this up for discussion for all. So leave me a comment and I will be checking those out and getting back to all of them. So thanks guys and have a great day. Thank you.